Hello everyone, it's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the previous episode, we conquered the Ruined Kingdom. And in today's video, we'll be returning to a couple kingdoms uh, to take care of stuff that we couldn't before. Having trouble finding empowerment? I'll help you for 50 coins. Wanna buy a hint? No! Alright, see you later. We are now back in the Cloud Kingdom, and I didn't really get a chance to properly praise this area, but my goodness, this area is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this area so much, it's just so pretty. It's, it is a little hard to see the ground against uh, the clouds in the background, that is my one complaint so far. Just clouds as far as the eye can see, it's kind of beautiful. Yeah, I just, I love how this area looks. This is in the Ruined Kingdom, there isn't much to do here, there are no original coins for us to find or anything like that. There is a mysterious rock that we've seen plenty of times already in our adventure, which we'll probably have to investigate at some point later in our adventure. If we were to go into the map, we can see that there's not much for us to see and do here at the moment. I do believe that there is one area somewhere around here, is it around there. Uh, yep, it's over there. So we go down here. Uh, apparently we don't. I thought there was something here. I know there's a warp pipe over here because there is at least one regular level that's accessible to us at the moment. But I'm having a little bit of a trouble figuring out where it is because I did not practice for this area. Another detail I really like is that all these platforms, they kind of like uh, resemble the different sides of the moon and things like that like it, it, it's really interesting like you'll see the full moon the crescent moon half moon new moon blood moon twilight moon breaking dawn moon <laughs> um but yeah it's a that's a really interesting where is this warp pipe i'm an idiot i am an idiot it's the only green thing we've ran past it several times i was looking for a white warp pipe uh, okay, over here, there's a toad. Picture match, picture match, put your best face forward. If you can master your picture match, I'll give you a power moon. Wanna give it a try? Alright, go on up there. Let me explain how a picture match works. See the character's face right there? Take a good look, because you're gonna have to put it back together. Capture the facial features with your hat, then rotate, move, and place them. Oh, and each time you place a facial feature, it'll disappear your points based on how well you recreate the face. A passing score is 90... Wait, is it about 90 or 80? That is 60. I apparently can't read right now. A passing score is 60 points, so, so try to do better than that. Alright, let's go, Eevee and Pikachu. Alright, so we could do that, or... We can also do this as well. This is technically cheating, but it's a fun kind of cheating. So you can you save a screenshot if you need a good reference point for everything. You can also take a picture on your phone, but that's lame. I like doing it this way instead. And I believe it's this one that's going to be next. So uh, I believe the Goomba is looking upwards as well. Uh, yeah, that, that, looks, that looks about right. Uh, you had a mustache too, didn't you? Yeah, you had it. You had an amazing mustache right on the right of your face. Oh, you also had a nose too. Uh, your nose was on your foot. Your nose was on your foot. It was right there. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. You had a mouth too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you had, you had a mouth. You had a mouth right on your right cheek. And did you have an eyebrow as well? I don't think you did. No, you didn't have an eyebrow, but you did have a ponytail. So, you also, you had a third eyeball. I remember that now. That's a very little known fact about Goombas. Goombas also had third eyeballs, too. Uh, it was right smack in the middle of your face. No, 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 actually, no, it was over here on your other foot. Yeah, you have an eyeball on your foot. That's why nobody does, and that's why nobody knows they have a third eyeball. All right, let's see how we did. You scored 18 points! 
Unfortunately, I can't give you a prize. Sorry, it looks like you had a lot of fun, though. <laughs> Come back and try again sometime. This is honestly one of my favorite things to do in this game. I love this so much. I just love seeing what kind of ridiculous phrases you can come up with during this. <laughs> it's just so good. I love it so much. But alright, we'll do this for real now. Alright, I think that's going to be a good score. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, that is perfect. Oh my god. I have no words. I have no words. That was perfect. Alright, let's get out of here. Next up, the Ruined Kingdom. Greetings, Gator audience. My name is Lord Narrator. I'll be filling in for Gator once again while his microphone's busy hiding in a box somewhere. We'll be returning to the Ruined Kingdom to take care of a couple power moons that become available after defeating the dragon. Use Cappy on this rocket to take us on our merry way through the path of glory. Again today I will go soaring through the sky. My enemies, I'll beat them up in a stir fry. Gracious goddess of the light, watched from up above. At dinner time, I always sow the cook some love. That was what Gator sung at this point, so wanted to keep it in the re-recording. For this puzzle, you'll want to time the blocks so they line up for your jumping convenience. You'll know it's correct when magical coins of magicness appear. Huh. I guess we've got a few more minutes left of this video. Hmm. I know. Let's discuss some random fascinating trivia. At Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, all the droids at the drink carts have names. They have bad motivators though so they tend to stay near the carts. A common misconception about the dinosaur ride at Disney's Animal Kingdom is its track is a direct clone of the Indiana Jones adventure. While it is nearly identical, there's actually an extra S curve on Dinosaur, which makes it completely different. Another misconception is the back of Tower of Terror was designed to blend into the Morocco skyline at Epcot. This was actually just a coincidence. While Disney World would eventually be built in Florida, it was far from Walt's first choice for a second Disneyland. A theme park in St. Louis. Walt Disney's Riverfront Square was far enough in development to have been worked on alongside the Florida project, but was scrapped due to disagreements over how the park would be financed. And before that, Disney almost licensed their properties for a Japanese theme park. The park was already under construction by the time Disney pulled out of the deal. So the plans were quickly overhauled into Nara Dreamland. Japan would later receive its own Disneyland when the Oriental Land Company acquired the licensing rights to build Tokyo Disneyland. Huh. That's a lot of Disney trivia for what's supposed to be a Mario video. Well, did you know Mario has a mustache? Okay, I'm not good at this commentary thing. I should probably focus on my Google Translate career. And that's everything we currently care about. So thank you all for watching this episode. My name is Lord Narrator, and until next time, later Gator to you.